Now in this part of the question then, what we've got to do is integrate f of x with respect to x going from x equals 1 to x equals 2. So to do this, what we need to do is to put down our function. So we've got going from 1 to 2 of x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5 with respect to x. Don't forget to put this in brackets. We've got several terms there. So that's integrated with respect to x. Just a quick reminder, how do we integrate terms like this? Integrating terms of the form ax to the power n with respect to x. All you do is add 1 to the power, that's n plus 1, and divide by the new power, n plus 1. And the integral of a constant, let's say a with respect to x, we should know is ax. All right. Okay, so using these results, let's see if we can just integrate this. So we'll integrate the x cubed, so add 1 to the power, x to the power 4, divide by the new power. Come on to 3x squared, add 1 to the power, so we've got 3x cubed, and divide by new power. When it's the 5, that's a constant, so it's just going to be this concept here, so it's going to be 5x. Now normally we would add a constant of integration, but because we've got limits between 1 and 2, we need to put this in between some square brackets going from 1 to 2. We can also clean up this term here. We could cancel 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 3 goes once, so we've just got x cubed for that term. What we need to do now is just replace x with the 2, the upper limit, and then subtract what we get when we put 1 through here for x. So if we do that, first of all by putting 2 through, we've got 2 to the power 4 divided by 4 for the first term. Here we've got x cubed, so it's now going to be plus 2 cubed. And then 5 times x will be 5 times 2. So we've got that there, minus, and now we put the 1 through. So we're going to have 1 to the power 4 over 4 plus 1 cubed plus 5 times 1. All right. Then if you work out this section here, you're going to have 4 here plus 8 plus 10, which comes to 22, and then minus, and here you've got a quarter plus 1 plus 5, which is going to come to 6 and a quarter, so minus 6 and a quarter. And if you do that, on your calculator or in your head, you should end up with 15.75, 15, 15 and 3 quarters. Alright, okay, well that brings us to the end of this question.